Deadpool is one of the most overrated movies. Well, no shit. One of the main issues that I had with the movie is that a lot of people have said that this movie was like 10 out of the 10, the best movie ever. And it kind of bring out sort of like denial of some of the movie's flaws. And when I heard something like this, I can't oversell this. I can't believe how good this movie is. I can tell you right now, I'm gonna have a hard time believing that any film this year will replace it as my favorite film of 2016. Now, it is not wrong that you think the movie is great, but to say it's one of the best movies that came out in 2016 might be a little bit too much. And let me break down why is it like that. The amount of problems that I have watching it before and now is that most of the humor is basically art dependent on pop culture references. I'm about to do to you what Limp Bizkit did to music in the late 90s. You ever see 127 hours? Spoiler alert. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. And I could count it around 10 times that they made it. And it's kind of a little bit sad that they could have done a little bit better on the comedy stuff. Since they've been working on it for 10 years, it could have been developed much better. It has some good comedy in it, but mostly it's like from a Seth Rogen movie. A lot of it, for me, it came out flat. But this is what I call a family guy syndrome, where your entire comedy is based on pop culture references. It's all right, it's okay, don't worry Chris. You can't always get things right on the first try. Just look at Snoopy's original happy dance. Hey, you having a good time tonight? Uh, oh, uh, oh, yeah. It can be comedic. It's not like people haven't done it before. But if your entire movie is dependent on pop culture references, it basically tells that you're kind of limited of the amount of comedic elements that you are presenting. But do you know what else they are limited at? A face to fix and oh, bad guys to kill. Maximum effort. The bad CGI in the movie shows clearly when they are only outdoors and where there's big action scenes taking place. For example, when they were in a highway or the final battle scenes when they were in this helicarrier. So the movie admitted that it had flaws of having a small budget. For example, they even made a joke that they didn't have enough money to pay for the actors. It's a big house. It's funny that I only ever see two of you. It's almost like... The studio couldn't afford another X-Men. It doesn't make the movie better if you admit that you have flaws. If I would have to sit through a movie and they have a horrible dialogue throughout the whole movie and in one point they're just pointing at the camera and says, we have bad dialogue, how funny is that? It still doesn't make the movie better. They had characters like Colossal and Nicosotic Teenage Warhead, and I think they were completely useless. Wait. Hey. Zip it, Sinead. Hey, douche pool. And I hope you're watching. <sighs> Quite unfortunate. And I don't know why they put those characters in the movie. I read one article that the writers just really liked the name of Nick Sonic Teenage Warhead. They even negotiated with Marvel Studios so they could exchange between the name and with the Eagle Planet which appeared in the Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I mean, these characters didn't do any important part of the Deadpool arc. I mean, yeah, you can say that Colossal Colossal was fighting with the MMA chick and Nigisotic Teenage Warhead was doing, well, something. But it was not really the case. I mean, the couple of times there could be an excuse that Deadpool could have done the job without them. And they only appeared two times. One time they appeared in the highway on the bridge to stop Deadpool so Ajax could get away. And then they come back again for the final battle scenes. But if you take them away, A, Ajax would not get away. B, Deadpool would have to find a way to figure out how to defeat the MMA chick, the soldiers, and how to get on top of the helicopter here. But he could have done without their help. It doesn't make sense for me to have characters just be there used at plot devices. 
despite putting the characters in the movie for no reason, one of the things that bothers me is the motivation of the characters. I've given Deadpool every chance to join us, but he'd rather act like a child. A heavily armed child. When will he grow up and see benefits of becoming X-Men? Wait, you're better than this. Join us. Use your powers for good. Heads up. Be a superhero. It seems like Colossal is trying to convince Deadpool to get in their team. Why? Why is it so important? And why do you need to capture it? For what reasons? For what reason Colossal even came to Deadpool in the first place? What was the motivation of Colossal even having Deadpool and bring it to Professor? What was the whole point of having those characters in there? And it's very forceful how they use these characters. I mean, yeah, you want probably you want to use as much X-Men characters as possible in a X-Men universe. But it doesn't make sense why they're even there in the first place. I mean, it's a good example how they use many different X-Men characters during the X2, the second X-Men movie, where they had the entire plot of William Stryker getting to the mansion and capture mutants for the experiments and for the annihilation of the mutants and there was a clear motivation here with the colossal i have no idea why the, he even interacts with deadpool a lot of it is very confusing for no reason just to have the character in the movie Overall, I think the movie was alright. I think it had some interesting story between Wade and Vanessa. And I think there was an interesting love story in it. And some of the characters were really interesting, especially the villain for me. And the character itself, Deadpool. But a lot of reasons why this movie is not the best superhero movie is because it was cheap. And some of the flaw in writing that didn't let have any motivation for the characters to be there other than serving as a plot device but after watching for the third time i had some fun despite its flaws <laughs>